Greetings, sirs and madams. I'm Seraphic Zero, and we're playing Monster Hunter World Iceborne. So I wanted to take a moment and talk a bit about Offensive Guard on Lance. So Offensive Guard is a new skill that's been added to Iceborne. Um, you had a little bit of it available in the beta, although uh, now that we're in the full game, we have all three levels of Offensive Guard available. So let's go ahead and look at the skill description. Uh, okay. Okay, I think it's over here. Okay, so Offensive Guard temporarily increases attack power after executing a perfectly timed guard. So this has three levels to it. Uh, at, at each level it adds 5% power to attack. So you have 5%, 10%, and finally 15% at level 3. So yeah, so it, it doesn't uh, modify anything that's not attack or raw attack. Um, it's, you know, so you're not getting like an elemental boost or anything like that. But in Iceborne, which is, you know, specifically Master Rank, percentage increases are going to be huge compared to flat boots. Like, uh, like attack boost is going to be less useful in Master Rank because, you know, it just adds flat raw. But percentages, uh, those go a really long way. So as Lance players, we have a really interesting opportunity here because, you know, we are... You know, like pretty much the lance is king at transitioning between like uh, offensive and defensive stances. And so offensive guard is pretty much designed for us. And we can pretty much go through a hunt with almost 100% uptime uh, with offensive guard. Although um, you'll, you'll find that there may be some problems with it. Like uh, for instance, if you're fighting a monster that misses you a lot or it just has attacks that, you know, just goes right over your head. That's a bit annoying. And then also if you're in multiplayer and the monster just isn't getting a lot of opportunities to attack you, then, you know, you're, this might be a little less useful. But, you know, I've uh, pretty much soloed the entire uh, game so far. Uh, I'm, I'm still working on my guiding lands grinding bullshit. But, yeah, I've used Offensive Guard 3 on pretty much 100% of my hunts in Iceborne so far, and I am absolutely loving it. So... Uh, in terms of equipment, there actually aren't a lot of armor pieces that provide offensive guard. Uh, you have three pieces of the Bombro armor that provide it, and then outside of that, uh, just, I think it's the Uragon Legs Alpha, and then that's it. Uh, I haven't come across any other armor that has it, unfortunately. Uh, Outside of those armor pieces, um, I think they're, they're, yeah, you can actually craft a charm. Uh, yeah, the charm is, yeah, this guardian charm. So you can see that it can go up to level three. I only have it at level two at the moment. So uh, if you need to, you can actually just uh, activate all of your offensive guard just off of this uh, talisman. But I don't. I really don't know if that's efficient or not. Um, for me, I was fortunate enough to get a ton of level four decorations that have offensive guard on it. Uh, yeah, so I really like these uh, guardian expert jewels, and I also happen to have a guardian attack jewel. Um, they they come in like lots of different varieties. Uh, I actually recently just got uh, a like a, a guardian release jewel like so you know that's crazy wherever the hell that thing is yeah right here <laughs> yeah so that is super duper interesting so, so you know like um, any weapon that can guard um, can benefit from offensive guard but we're basically just going to talk about lance today um, okay so I think that's uh, a good introduction to offensive guard so let's go ahead and head out to the training area so we can talk a little more about mechanics uh, when it comes to lancing. Alright, so here we are in the training room so we can look at the mechanics a little more closely. So to activate offensive guard you pretty much have to go from a non-guarding state into a guarding state with good timing. Um, unfortunately, the bomb here in the training area does not activate offensive guard, no matter what your timing happens to be, so that's a little unfortunate for everybody. 
but to demonstrate the timing it's just pretty much just as close as you can get it uh, let's try that again I think I can get a little tighter so from what I noticed the timing on offensive guard is actually a little it's a little more lenient than it was in the beta so that's a good thing so okay so the timing on it is essentially if you guard too early um, you'll get your block but you won't get the uh, bonus from offensive guard you'll you'll see offensive guard activate with like there's this huge white flash and a, a pinging noise you know it's a it's a, an excellent audio visual cue for players i think it's amazing it's a very satisfying like when you get offensive guard activated Yeah, so you if you guard too early, you won't get offensive guard, and if you guard too late, um, you're gonna get hit. <laughs> so essentially, just you know, right in the middle of that. Um, the timing on it is sort of similar to the timing on this short counter cancel. Yeah, essentially, um, as soon as you like, uh, kind of in that time where you see the shield glowing, that's that's pretty much the timing for offensive guard. Okay, so let's talk about guarding states. So, um, so offensive guard only activates when you go from a non-guarding state into a guarding state. And non-guarding states are things like just um, just walking around, idling, uh, evading as a non-guarding state, uh, attacking as a non-guarding state, and then um, guarding states are uh, you know just holding a regular guard. Uh, you have your counter cancels, you have your short cancel, uh, you have your long uh, counter state, uh, you have guard dashes, and you know, it counts guard dashes in every direction. Gee, I think I can show you guys more directions on this. Yeah, so all the directions for guard dashes. Uh, let's see, you have your uh, guard shot stance. And you have uh, counter claw, uh, yeah, power guard, and then you know there's this alternate way to activate counter claw like this. Okay, so so here's the tricky thing when it comes to uh, offensive guard and lancing. So Lance actually has like six or so different guard states, and not all of them can activate offensive guard and that's because offensive guard will not activate if you go from a guarding state into another guarding state so let's say I'm, I'm waiting for an attack to come in and I do that by just holding my block and then when the the timing is right I do counter cancel but I went from guard into counter cancel so that's a guard state to another guard state it won't activate power, uh, offensive guard so um, that means that two of your guards will not like not activate offensive guard ever and that's your power guard and your counter claw that's because power guard is locked behind your uh, your counter you always have to go from counter into power guard and then counter claw always has to go from guard shot into counter claw or you can also do this type of cancel where you do a counter cancel into counter claw but because those go from guard state into guard state they can't ever activate offensive guard so uh, yeah so that's essentially the gist of it like you can go from an evade into a block or you can attack into a block whoops yeah you can attack into a block you can attack into a counter yeah, those types of things will activate offensive guard. But yeah, that's uh, enough about the mechanics. Let's go ahead and demonstrate this on a hunt for you guys. Alright, so here we have a hunt against the Nargakuga in the arena. And of course, not a speedrun. We're just going to be you know, just messing around with different types of guard. Okay, so I just took a demon drug and my raw attack power is now 593. So we're going to see when we activate offensive guard, we'll get a pretty much uh, a flat 15% uh, attack buff on 593. Um, it kind of works out like a little less when you math it out. 
Um, I'm not really sure why. There might be some things uh, in your raw damage that offensive guard excludes, like uh, it might not affect uh, item buffs or something like that. Or it might not affect food buffs too, so I, I have to double check that. Okay, so for, uh, first off, we're just going to start off with some things to damage Narga. It's going to be a little while before we can activate Offensive Guard. Yeah, and that is one thing about Offensive Guard. If you're like doing like a speed run where the monster never has an opportunity to even attack you, Offensive Guard is not going to be helpful. So, yeah, in that case, you'll, you'll want to go for other types of offensive skills. Okay, knocked Kitty Cat into the wall. And I'm gonna try to hit him in the head, but I'm getting stuck on all his body parts. Okay, I'm now stuck in the taint. <laughs> so, yeah, we can actually reach the head if we use the Lance Charge Finisher. That's kind of funny. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I activated Defensive Guard. Uh, the Raw is now 674. Just, you know, that's a huge boost. Ooh, nice solid hit. Okay, an offensive guard lasts for about somewhere between 10 and 15 seconds. Like, I've never actually timed it. Okay, so there I activate offensive guard with another guard dash. And roars are a really good opportunity to activate offensive guard because they're always really well telegraphed. Um, they have a pretty much sort of like a universal hitbox. So pretty much as long as you're facing in the right direction, you can get the, the attack bonus. Okay, so Narga was about to he was about to do his tailspin, but <laughs> Guapo put him to sleep right there, so yeah, it kind of blue balled us a bit. Okay. And usually when you're doing your uh, your sleep attack ritual, offensive guard will have worn off during that time, so yeah, maybe if you're fast enough you can get the the sleep attack bonus along with offensive guard. Okay, so there I guarded too early to activate offensive guard. And right there, Narga just pretty much missed our block, so of course that's not going to activate it either. Okay, I think there I went from a guarding state into a counter, which, you know, that's not going to count. Yeah, Narga's uh, tail whip attack is a very good move to activate that against. Okay, and here I was just demonstrating that power guard isn't going to activate offensive guard, even if your timing's good. Yeah, I find that um, ever since I started using Offensive Guard, I've just been using Power Guard so much less. Like, uh, it has... Um, yeah, it's just it just seems uh, more rewarding to get the timing for Offensive Guard compared to, you know, just uh, getting the counter-attack from Power Guard now. Yeah, Power Guard is still useful in some situations, like um, if you have like a really, really like long wind-up attack, you can use it, or like um, if you need to change direction, Power Guard is still pretty good. Ugh, dang it, I really hate when Narga does that. It's such a huge waste of time. Okay, what are you doing? Oh jeez, I, I thought he was about to do his pounce attack. Okay, from there I went from a, a guard into a guard dash. That's not going to activate a offensive guard. Yeah, and this attack, it's actually a lot more dangerous on Narga than it was on a Dogoron. Yeah, so you can't counter the first hit because you'll get hit by the tail. So I recommend just guard dashing that or maybe power guarding if you started blocking early enough. Okay, Narga fell over. I'm not terribly sure why he did. I think I was just hitting him in the head instead of his foot. Okay, good flinch. Okay, that's Narga's counter. I've actually never been hit by that counter. Like, um, it's... I don't know, I don't think it's even really designed to hit the hunter. Okay, double tail spin. Um, yeah, you're, you're not going to get offensive guard off if yeah, he misses you. Okay, that was pretty cool. Okay, tenderize the head. Yeah, I think it'd be nice if Offensive Guard just lasted a little bit longer. You know, not every weapon can, you know, 
activated as often as Lance, so it might be nice for other weapons if uh, it lasted longer. Yeah, for as it is right now, I think it's still pretty good for Lance. And you know, it would be nice if it did activate for um, Power Guard and Counter Claw. Oh Jesus, I was trying to... I was trying to block with the Guard Shot stance, but I guess it didn't come out fast enough. That was a really hard hit. Okay, solid hit on Narga. Yeah, the knockback on hit this attack is really, really hard. Jesus, stop hopping around, man. Jeez. Okay, tailspin. Yeah, I think he only does double tailspin when he's enraged. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's gonna let me demo like a uh, offensive guard with guard shot. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are... Ah, oh, jeez. Man, is Guard Shot's stance just, like, really slow or something? Yeah, anyway, if you're ever trying to close distance with, um... Uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna come out fast enough. I just keep getting hit. Yeah, I, I really don't like that stance anyway. It's sort of useless for me. Okay, here's some second slam. And he missed us. That's helpful. Yeah, if you're doing uh, Lance Charge, uh, just keep in mind that you, like, if, in a, if a monster's attacking as you're approaching, you can actually cancel into a guard. So I've activated Offensive Guard a ton, like, uh, using that. Ugh, okay. Yeah, that bite comes out pretty fast. Okay, I got a little too greedy there. I should have canceled a little earlier. Yeah, he wasn't being quite this annoying earlier. Okay, just thought I'd play it safe there. I am, like, really hurt. I think if I made a single mistake now, I'm pretty much dead. Okay, got a knockdown. Okay, Guapo with the save, and I am down to blue sharpness. <laughs> That's great. Okay, I think this hunt is pretty close to being over, though. Ooh! <laughs> okay, yeah, solid hit. Okay, so, yeah, that's Offensive Guard on Narga. It is a really good skill to use against um, monsters that are, like, uh, they attack really frequently with uh, accurate hitboxes. But if for any reason you're interested in this build, this is just my Thunder Attack build. And of course, uh, I gemmed in uh, Offensive Guard. I have a lot of Thunder Attack on it. Yeah, and I think realistically, I, I probably should have used... Um, the razor sharp charm instead of handicraft on this lance because I think you just you just get more mileage out of razor sharp on this thing okay uh, yeah eight minutes and 30 seconds like um yeah I think we could have gotten that time down a ton if I didn't try to use the guard shot because that, that got hit me that got me hit like four times <laughs> oh, that, that is a lot of wasted time Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for our uh, discussion and demonstration of Offensive Guard. I absolutely love the skill. It works great with Lance. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this demonstration. And, yeah, I guess uh, that's it for now. We'll see you next time.